done. Where's the best TV? Hi, Emily and Jamie. I'm so excited to talk to you guys today about this film. Thank you. How are Hi. you? How are Hi. you? How are you doing? Um, Thank you. You're welcome. Wild Mountain Dime, a beautiful and quirky romantic drama set in rural Ireland against a picturesque background and a little bit of brain. Um, you both capture and bring to life the essence of both um, Rosemary and Anthony so beautifully. And Emily, fans are super thrilled to see you back on screen after two of your highly anticipated films were pushed back due to COVID. Um, Emily, when you read the script, what were your initial thoughts as to how you would bring Rosemary to life, accent and all? Um, I mean, you know, for me, I was so enchanted by the script. It, it was completely bewitching and, and so unique, poetic. And, 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 and I fell in love with these weird farmers, you know, who were just, they, they've been driven a bit mad by living in isolation and loneliness. And I just really responded to the humanity of this as a love story. It just wasn't this, they're not the people who always have the right thing to say or, or are quick with a witty response or are terribly front footed. I think, I think there's such awkwardness and oddity about them that I really fell in love with. I thought it was so charming, just so charming. And for me, she she was such a mystery to me when I first read it, and that's always what I look for. I don't want to know how to crack the case on playing someone immediately. I want to be um, a, a bit scared to play them, and certainly, you know, taking on an a, an accent as well is is an added um, sort of something quite enticing for me because I think you're always looking to shape shift in some way and keep changing it up. So I was a bit, you know, sort of confused as to how to play her at first and then ultimately she just revealed herself to me over time you know um you both have this undeniable chemistry on screen i love you too i love watching you too um thank you you were offered this role over the phone by director john patrick is that right uh yeah i'd, I'd been sent it um you know very fortunate if you ever you know get straight offers and lucky to get that sometimes and uh, I did. It was so subject to a, a, a chat with John Patrick Shanley, which I thought would be like an hour long. He spoke to me for about seven minutes and, and basically said, like, I want you to do the movie. Are you up for it? And I was like, yeah. But then it, it was a year before we uh, Emily came along and we ended up making it. Was this a welcome pivot for you, um, given the characters very different from what fans um, are used to seeing you, uh, this character are used to seeing you play? Was it a welcome change for you, this role? Yeah, definitely. And you're not sort of, you know, actively out there trying to, you know, I don't, I don't feel like I'm trying to like shatter any illusion of what people may have of me or anything like that. But, you know, I think one of the greatest joys of being an actor is the, the is that you, there's so many different worlds that you can enter and so many different characters you can create. And, uh, and that's what, 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 you know, why do it if, if you're, if you're not up for exploring all those different aspects, you know, and, I'd be so bored if I was playing the same kind of character movie after movie after movie. So, um, yeah, Anthony represented this um, like very sort of part of me that I probably can recognize a little bit of myself that don't get to show off very often in, in, in my work. So that was that was fun. I knew it would be like a fun ride to go to go on this journey with uh, with Anthony. And uh, I loved every second of it. Yeah, definitely. And you're not sort of you know, actively out there trying to, you know, I don't, 